Fine wines. I may not be the one drinking them, but I do know my Medoc from my Saint Emilion. Although our cellar here is not as grand as the one in Whitehall in Winestead, where I was footman, I've been diligent, learnt my craft, and if I say it myself, you'll not find a better presented silver service and wine list this side of the Humber. I've not had an easy life. Both my parents died when I was ten, but now I have a good position and loving wife. Violet is a lodging housekeeper over in Bridlington, so we don't see each other as often as we'd like to, but we're saving our wages as much as we can and dream of setting up our own cafe together. With her business sense and my style, not to mention our passion for dancing, it'll be quite something, I promise you. It's a long day for me, and a pretty thankless one at that. I was up at six o'clock, cleaning and lighting the kitchen fires, scouring the tables and cutting boards with hot water, soap and sawdust. Then I clean splashes off the range and make sure nothing is spilt in the pantry that might attract mice. I sweep the floor several times a day, sprinkling sand or sawdust over it beforehand to remove any greasiness. Twice a week I have to scrub the whole floor on my hands and knees with soap and hot water. And then there's the washing up. Mountains of it. Three meals every day for the family and another three for the servants. I use vinegar and lemon juice for the gilded family dinner service, boiling water and soda crystals for the everyday china and the pots and pans. My hands are raw and painful and there's no let up until my half day off on Sunday. I'm a London girl, and I've done all right in life, although I never expected to be so far from home. I began in service as a kitchen maid, doing the plain cooking the cook was too important to do for himself. Eventually, I became a cook for the Duncan family at Gayton Hall in Cheshire, and looked after the kitchen ledgers. So, when the Graham family were looking for someone to combine the role of housekeeper and cook, I jumped at the chance. As housekeeper, I command the respect of both the family and the staff. I'm most careful with the household accounts, and Mrs Lloyd Graham relies on me to produce a well-provisioned table for the household and tidy and disciplined staff. I've made it my business to know all the tradesmen in town. I'll take a cup of tea or a glass of sherry with them when they call. They can tell I only accept the best quality goods. My family have all been in service. My father's a garden labourer, so, of course, I'm used to hard work. As a kitchen maid, I have one at better jobs. I'm trusted to prepare servants' breakfast and supper, so they'd better be kind to me. Mrs Henderson writes a menu on board each day, depending on what's in season. We share cooking at family meals. Mrs Henderson's a very good cook and takes charge of all complicated recipes. I peel fruit and vegetables, boil meat for stews and make bread and pastries. In summer, maids pick fruit from garden and orangery and I'll make jams and marmalade. I grew up in West Hartlepool, Durham. But you have to leave your friends and go where the work is. There's a steady stream of new jobs across the country. Maids get married and leave, or they look for promotion. The Lloyd Graham family are good employers, and I'm one of three housemaids, so I can't complain. We get up before seven o'clock each morning, and we're inspected by Mrs Henderson. Woe betide anyone who's late or doesn't have the work box ready. There's a strict timetable to the day. We wear our grey aprons first to do the dirty jobs, cleaning and lighting the fires in each room. 
we'll dust the main rooms and polish the furniture before the family come down. Then we're changing our white aprons to attend to the family. When I first started, I was only allowed to clean the other servants' rooms, but now I'm trusted to look after the whole house. I have been Mrs. Lloyd Graham's lady's maid for over 10 years, and she trusts me implicitly with her clothes and appearance. We French are definitely considered to be the best ladies' maids, and although I have not returned since my family fled Alsace in the Franco-Prussian War, we take Vogue magazine to see the Paris styles, and I make sure that my mistress wears the latest fashions and hairstyles. My age? Let's just say that uh, I'm a little over 30. I started working as a lady's maid in Corsham, Wiltshire, but it is here with Mrs. Lloyd Graham that I have really honed my skills. I clean and press her clothes and lay out the most appropriate dresses for her, whatever she is doing. And if something needs stitching or mending, I'll attend to that too. I air her bed and tidy her dressing room, and the lesser servants are only allowed into her rooms to clean them with my permission. <laughs> 